So one of the new features in Kaden Live 21.04 is being able to automatically um, subtitle. So it's got speech recognition uh, modules that you can install into Kaden Live. So I thought I'd do a quick video on uh, how you install uh, Kaden Live 21.04 on Ubuntu, what you need to also install um, to be able to get speech recognition to work uh, because it won't work by default and there's a, a couple of missing bits of information on the internet we shall say so first thing is you're going to need python 3 so sudo apt install uh, python 3 you're also going to need to tell ubuntu that you want python to be python 3 uh, python 2 is what it kind of defaults to so you need another little application um, called python dash is dash python 3 and then you're also going to need to install pip which is something that python uses to install uh, other python modules great so while that one is installing you also need to install a ppa or a custom repository for uh, Kden Live 21.04. So you're going to need, uh, I'll do some other terminals, sudo add dash apt dash repository, and then it's ppa colon Kden Live forward slash Kden Live dash stable. And then sudo apt update to refresh the lists. And then to actually install it, sudo apt install Kden live. If you don't add the custom repo, um, you will get the snap version of Kden live, which is a older version and does not have the abilities to install the speech recognition components. Once that has installed, we can launch Kden Live from Activities. And you see it's the 21.04 version. It's full screen. And then in Project, Subtitles, Speech Recognition, you can get this little pop-up. This is where you would normally go to uh, start your speech recognition process. But in here, it will say that you need to install some modules. So uh, down here, says that some VOSC Python modules are needed, so we will install those. So this is why we needed Python 3 and pip installed, otherwise this part would fail. And then up here, we need to download a speech model, so that the speech model contains all of the information um, that the, uh, the system needs. So for me, I am uh, an English speaker, badly, uh, so this is the model I'm gonna want. So I will save that file. Now if we go back to here, down the bottom, the little add button, and then we can locate that file from our downloads. Okie dokie. And then just give it a second, it will show up here when it's added. If it crashes, just tell to wait, it will get there eventually. So, new dictionary installed, okie dokie. So that's how you get it installed, and then I will jump out of this uh, virtual machine back to my actual machine uh, and show you how you can run some text to speech. So this is Kden Live on my machine. It looks a little bit different because I have my uh, features laid out slightly differently. So I just recorded a section of a video. So I'll just grab that file, uh, switch to that uh, thing. So here we can have some video, pull this down here. So I've got my little section down here. We got to project and then subtitles and then speech recognition. And we'll tell it to do uh, all of the tracks and we'll tell it to go. Great, so when it's done, it will have the subtitles up here in here and you can edit them over here. 
which is uh, great. They also appear in your project monitor when you're playing the clip back. This is a test recording of some speech. So that is how you get Caden Live to do speech recognition. So once you have saved your project uh, into a normal place, you will find in the same folder a second file that's .srt, which is the subtitle file. And in here you will have some text, which is a subtitle. When you are ready to uh, upload a file, this is one of my other um, videos, you go to the subtitles and then you can add by uploading a file. So when you go to uh, add subtitles, you can upload a file. Uh, you need to select with timing and then you'll need to find your file. So the .srt file is the one that you want. And then when you upload that, you will see that it adds the subtitles to your uh, video. So I won't be saving those uh, because that's not the right video and I already have added some subtitles. So that is how you add uh, subtitles using Caden Live 21.04 on Ubuntu um, and how you get them into YouTube. It's a pretty neat feature. Thanks for watching.